Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were about to fight Grendel. So, let's do exactly that. We need to get in close to damage that thing, but there's no telling what that thing will do. Just keep an eye on the damage levels of the ship, boy. We'll try and damage him little by little. So, again, <sighs> Grendel's not really that tough. To be honest, I mean, we can fire a cannon at him, but there's not really a lot of point. We're just going to load up on gear grease. Because gear grease is kind of our thing. Uh, should we do another one? Uh, you know what, we'll pop a repair kit, just to be sure. Now, he's got a few attacks, but they don't really do that much damage to you. Uh, and I think we might speed this one up a little bit too, as well. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever. Now, according to the game's librarian, we can actually kill him without knocking him into the canyon. But it takes a long time. Fist of Grendel. That's one of his attacks. He punches us. As you can see, he doesn't really do that much damage. That's his primary attack, to be honest. And it's not that impressive. We've certainly... This is his second attack. Throws a boulder at us. That boulder actually doesn't really do a lot of damage. Just slow the game down again. Because it does sound really annoying. And I suppose it is a boss fight as well. So It's too big. I don't even know where to begin attacking it. Boy, where do you think we should try attacking it? We're going to attack its head. Let's try attacking its head. That might be its weak point. Very well. Increase our altitude. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get a hard uh, couple of hits here, but that's fine. Let's give it some of that. Return in kind with our cannon and get ready with another repair kit. Yeah, he's going to bitch slap us. Aye. Wow, okay, that time it literally did next to nothing. Probably because we're using evasive action, maybe, or defending, I'm not sure. Such a weird design for a creature, the way it's got that kind of massive hole in its body, and that raised chest. It's just really odd design, kind of disturbing as well. Yeah, he's really not doing that much damage to us at all. Which is fine. That's what we want. Let's keep up with that evasive action. He's kind of got two heads on him as well, in a way. That actually does a considerable amount of damage. Just not enough. We need it to be doing a lot more. We need to get the uh, harpoon cannon ready. Come on, baby. Okay, so we can use the harpoon cannon. Let's go for a bit of that. We're going to go for a bit of that. And then we're going to go for one of them. And we're going to go for one of them. Come on, baby. Nice. Did even more damage that time. Very nice. Right, let's give him Harpoon Cannon. Now, that Harpoon Cannon supposed to be going in his head, but it goes into his main body. You can see we only did 8,000 damage there. Which really wasn't an awful lot. I like the way you can see the burning enemy ship off in the distance as well. Um, but we only have to hit him three times, I think, with a harpoon cannon. Three times and he is out of there. That first... Red Moon uh, Gigas that we fought was significantly tougher than this guy. Not really sure why. 
But hey, I'm not going to complain. She's going to keep working over Mr. Jolly Green Giant. Um, looks like we can't really use that much on him. Um, I'll give it one of those. We'll pop a repair kit like there, I guess. Like one of the last things we do. Let's uh, let's just go evasive, evasive. Let's get a little bit more damage on him. Come on, baby. Boulder throw. That's fine. I like the way he just produces a giant boulder from the trees. It's just, yeah, it's just fine. Wow, he's really doing nothing against us. Whether we're over-leveled or what, I'm not really sure. Probably. <coughs> the grinding isn't really a thing. In the, I mean, it, you can grind in this game. But it takes a very long time. Unless you get to a new area, I suppose. You're going to give us another fist. Boom! Backhand. Bastard. Battery on my controller is going to run out before we actually get through this fight, I think. Nice. Such a bizarre design. It's almost like bits of him are actually missing. So weird. Okay, boy, you can continue attacking if you want, or you can back off and make repairs on the ship. Uh, keep attacking, dude. Like, come on. Let's continue attacking. We need to keep damaging that thing, even if we can only do it a little at a time. Exactly. And we're actually in perfect health, so... You know... Press the attack, and then we are going to evade and evade. Come on, you big ugly bastard. Come take your medicine. I thought it was going to miss then. I was going to say, how can you miss? Right, another harpoon up the ass. I think fighting this big thing, we have certainly discovered that this harpoon cannon was not a waste of money. She's quite the spicy boy. Ow. That's going to leave a mark. Okay, that's cool. Definitely going to need some new wood paneling once we're finished here. I imagine this dude's doing a hell of a lot of damage to that forest below as well. Uh oh. Look, Grendel's acting strangely. Uh oh. Why am I getting a bad feeling about this? Wait, this might be our chance. Watch it carefully. It's not acting normally. If we attack it now, we might be able to knock it off balance. And if we can hit it hard enough, we might be able to knock it over into the valley behind it. That should hold it for a while. Indeed. Okay, so... We are going to... Uh... Let's... Get a cannon going. Let's pop a gear grease just for the hell of it. Let's pop a deluxe kit because we're out of the cheaper ones. And then we shall fire the S cannon. This should be the last bit of damage this thing can take. Yeah, it looks really much in pain, doesn't it? 
definitely some sentience to this machine. Which is quite horrific, to be honest. Kind of remind me of the weapons from um, Final Fantasy. Nice, fully repaired. It's always nice situation to be in. Now you would have thought that would break this uh, ship like matchsticks, but nope. If only it could crush its own head. That would be something. Come on. Hold in there, boys. Get that cannon fired. Fire! He's gone. Looks like we always destroyed him or something. Alright, we've knocked Grendel into the valley. Good job, boy. Now's our chance to grab the green moon crystal and send that thing back to where it came from. Yeah, probably enjoyed the uh, wash, to be honest. Nice cool bath. Hey, Drachma. Leveled up. Nice. What would we like to see? Wow, Captain. Oh, we got a Grendel win. And a complete kit. Very nice. Vase, you saved my people and our lands. I don't know how to repay you. We were wrong. We should never have summoned the giant. With great power, you need great responsibility. Oh, dear. Uh, the Gigas are far too dangerous. Yeah, we now realize that. I'm truly sorry, Vase. You have proven yourself worthy. I entrust our sacred green stone onto you. Use it to achieve peace. We have faith in you. Thank you, King Ixitaka. We will do our best. The Valians have abandoned their encampments to the north. Now that they've left, perhaps you might be able to travel through the Iron Net. Mm. If we pass through there, we'll reach North Ocean. That will take us back to Valua. The yellow crystal should be hidden there. Okay, everyone. Now, we'll head back to Valua. They're really upset with us now. Getting the yellow crystal isn't going to be easy. Sounds dangerous. Perhaps you ladies would like to stay behind here in Ixitaka. It's an island paradise. We've got exotic foods, nectars, waterfalls, beautiful sunsets. What do you say, Aika? Who knows? Maybe you'll find some more ghosts, too. Face, don't even joke about them around me. You know I'm afraid of them, and I've had enough of ghosts to last me for a long time. <laughs> and everybody belly laughs. You received the green moon crystal. Nice. Okay, not bad. So, what have we got here? We're all, we all actually knew the location of Rixus. <gasps> we were bamboozled. I'm sorry for having lied to you. Thank you for facing the giant of the forest. If he was left unchallenged, he would have destroyed us all. Yes. Yes. You fools. Valuans escaped these lands to the northeast between the mountains before we weren't able to get into Valua because of the iron net. But now we should be able to. Perhaps you cannot tell by looking at him, but Isper is a high priest of much higher standing than myself. Uh, he knows much about ancient legends and is a valuable member of the royal court. Yeah, he's al also a giant pervert. Thank you, Vase. Your bravery has saved my kingdom. From this day forth, we will defend Ixitaka from all foes within our own strength. You have given us the courage to do so, Vase. Excellent! Let's get out of here. Let's return to the little Jack. And in returning to the little Jack... Now, we can actually make our way to the north now. King Ixitaka spoke of an iron net to the north of this continent. Yeah, but if the Valuans escape to the north, that means they probably had to take down the Iron Net, right? That means we'll be able to reach the North Ocean that way. We'll head straight to Valua from there. Right, we've got a lot of looking and hunting and fiddling around to do now. But, 
I guess we could examine the north. See what's through there. Because otherwise, it's going to be a long way. Yeah, let's go through the north, shall we? Uh, we also got a new torpedo system for our ship. And that's not what we wanted to do. Got to remember the controls now for being outside of uh, combat. All right. So we want Little Jack. And Little Jack needs some repairs too. Uh, shock Torpedo. Let's have a look. Hunter Torpedo. Yeah. Torpedo equipped by the Little Jack has a greater range than standard torpedoes. Uh, I think it's just more accurate. Which is fine. Because, you know, I like accuracy. Okay, cool. Oh, and, of course, we got a new boomerang for Ica, didn't we? Hunting arc. Now, what's the Grendel like? Yes, quite a lot better. A boomerang made from a bone of the green gigas. Its power rivals the fist of Grendel. The fist of Grendel, really? All right, well, we shall apply that. Let's go see our merchant friend, see if he's got anything new for us. Shall we? Oi. Yeah, you got some value in arms, have you? I also buy and sell discovery information. I've got everything you need. Uh, let's go for some ship parts. Um, tempted to replace that three inch blaster with another cannon, to be honest. But I'm guessing. I'm. Yeah. I'm just going to buy one of those. Let's get another one. That three inch cannon. Three inch cannon just doesn't seem to be much cop for anything these days. Um, cool. Do you have parts? Ah, there we go. Right. Gear grease. Let's get some more of that. Yeah, let's go for another ten of those bad boys. Uh, oh, go on. Get a couple more. Round up to 25. Now, deluxe kits. We're down to 38. Uh, let's get some more of those. We've got 60 of those bad boys now. Lovely. Cool. Now we're ready to go. Although, what discovery information do you have? Ah, we can sell you that. There you go, dude. Um, wanted list. Right. See, I want to go do Rupee of the Lasso Can Clan. Uh-huh. So, Demon S. Female um, triplets who attack ships carrying men. Okay. So, we've already done him. This is next on our list. Should be strong enough to do him now. Not sure about these. Gordo the Round. I remember him. Right. Okay. Can't buy anything, I don't think. Magical Ward. Where's that? Uh... Right. Interesting. All right. Well, I mean, it's only 20, so we'll buy it. Cool. Let's go. Valiant forces have withdrawn from this region, and the Ixitakans don't have a need for ship parts. I really don't know how much longer I'll be able to stay in business. Maybe it's time to look for a new line of work. Maybe it is, my friend. Maybe it is. Okay. Let's go. Now, one thing I love about the Xbox Elite controller. Oh, hello. Hello. Ixy Tack and Ship. We've been hiding, but with the Valuans gone, we can fly our ships again. The Valuans left through the Iron Wall, crossed the Northern Valley, and flew away. I think you can get to Valua from there. I think we can. Yeah, one of the good things about it is. Uh, you can turn the triggers into just normal standard buttons, which is a feature that I really like. They don't have a huge amount of travel anymore. 
I uh, guess we could go fight this guy. Let's give it a save, just in case he's a double hard bastard. I don't think he's going to be a double hard bastard, but you never know. We also didn't get that flame cannon, sadly. Which is a little bit depressing. Who are you? Black spell pirates. Hand over your gold and your and your women. Holy shit. Alright. This guy's serious. Otherwise, face the wrath of our magic cannons. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think so, pal. Let's grab some gear grease. And then we should bomb this dude back into the Stone Age. And over your... Yeah, that that's pretty... <clears throat> pretty implying, um, or pretty much implies some rather unsavory behavior there, which is interesting for the time this game came out. Not that us heroic blue pirates would ever give in to these brigands. Speed this up, because otherwise we'd be here forever. Ooh, that Type G cannon does do a good amount of damage. Whoa. Didn't realize we were so injured, actually. We need to get healed up. Oh. Right, little Jack, first thing you're going to do is have a Dulux kit. Definitely need a Dulux kit. Then we're going to go Hunter Torpedo. And then we're going to go hit him hard. Black torpedo ain't much to worry about. Nice. Two and a half thousand damage. Oh, God. They, they hurt. Wow, this guy hurts. Oh, he took us out. Good thing we saved it. Very good thing we saved it. That guy. Oof. Need to be healing a lot more often. Ouch. Oh, well. Good thing... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good old safety save in the right place. That was nasty. Magic cannon is pretty savage. Okay, cool. Right, well, before we get there anyway, we need to be thinking about going back to the desert. Now, I'm not sure. We could definitely take that guy, just need to heal um, quite a lot more than I actually did. Anyway, before we worry about that, how do we get back? There's also going to be lots more discoveries and whatnot here. Alright, map. Ah, okay, so what's down here then? Let's have a little bit of an explore, shall we? And I was waiting for that. <laughs> what have we got? What's in North Ocean? Anything? Ooh. Interesting. Right, well. Everybody. Go for it, I guess. Well, that thing wasn't that tough. That'll work. Serves them right. Serves them right. Yes, it does, me lad. Yes, it does. Ah, uh, back to grinding. Back to grinding for pennies. Okay, let's keep going down this way. So we've got a big piece of land here. I'm guessing we can't. Nope. Really. Ah, bullshit. We should be able to go over there, but we can't. All right, fine. Uh, so, this is where a value, the value in Empire was. Okay. Right, well, let's get our game speed up a little bit. Just whilst we're exploring and fighting. What's next? 
Oh, just these guys again. That's cool. Shouldn't take too much. Actually, I think we've got some moonstones that we can use. Get some more abilities. Right. You know what? Cutlass Fury. Do it. Kill them all. Oh. I mean, did a lot of damage. Oh. Uh, the squeaky, the funny squeaky voices, honestly. Hey, I could level up. Not bad. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> Nothing good around here yet. Must be a way. Must be a way to loop this round. So there's Valua. Where are we on the map? Oh! Hello. Black Pirate. Gordo ship. The Bloodlust. Uh oh. Whoops. Cold ocean starfish soup. Value in chicken with onion sauce. And a mountain of flying fish. Yeah. Doesn't look that good. Fat guy. This is wonderful. The ship that we hit yesterday really had some great food on board. <laughs> Look at those grins on those guys. Jesus. Captain Gordo, a ship armed with a gigantic harpoon has been sighted off the port side. I see. Good. Good. Another ship full of goodies is there for the taking. I will take on anyone if I think they have good food on board. I really hope they have something that goes good with fish. Uh, this is going to be bad. Uh, pretty sure we're not ready to fight this guy. Faze, there's a ship headed right for us. They're black pirates. I know that flag. It belongs to a pirate named Gordo. He is known as the Gourmet Pirate. He attacks other ships and steals their food. He rarely uses his cannons because he's afraid he'll burn the food on the other ships. He'll do anything for a good meal. As far as black pirates go, he's a strange one. You're telling me he's getting awfully close. They're boarding us. They're challenging us to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh-oh. Well, while they're here, we might as well kick their butts. Yeah, very confident there, Vase. Um, crap. I'm not prepared for this. But, hey-ho. There's Gordo. We've got mad chefs as well. Right, this is bad. Let's try and kill the mad chefs first. Uh, can we? Um, can we like turn them to stone or something? Is it worth trying? Right, okay, so the Mad Chef's not that strong. Should be able to take them out. Question is, is there going to be more than one Mad Chef? Are they going to just reinforce them? Guess we're going to find out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we can't skip that for some reason. Hey, okay. So we petrified him. Which is good. And... We're not even that well healed, which is problematic. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, what have we got? Can we heal everybody? Uh, for all allies. Right, let's pop that. You give us Lunar Blessing. And you kill that one. Let's kill the cronies first. Yeah, sometimes you can skip these and sometimes you can't. I'm not sure why. But I'll definitely take a bit of passive healing. 
just to keep us all topped up. Best we can be, anyway. Alright, there's one chef down. Ah, uh, okay. It's not... Oh, poisoned. That's not good. Locust spray. How much damage did that do? Alright, not that much, actually. I was expecting that to be a lot worse. Ow. But maybe we should just barrel in. Oh, nice. Another one down. Yeah, maybe we should just barrel in on the main guy. A little bit of healing for everybody. Apart from Ika, who's poisoned, which is not fantastic. Uh, I guess there's only one mad chef left. Let's... Right, Fina, I want you to use another crystal. Everybody kill that guy. So he's going to use magic. Yeah, it doesn't do that much damage, though. Which I'm happy about. Ooh, nice. Keep everybody topped up. Especially as Ike is poisoned. Huh. Okay, I thought this guy was going to be stronger. But technically, we haven't won yet. Oh, I like the look of her new weapon. Looks cool. Yeah, Ike is still taking poison damage, but that's fine. Uh, let's go for Cutlass Fury. Ika, do we have any, like, anti-poison cure things? Uh, cure crystals, cures, all adverse effects. Right, yeah, use one of those. And go for Lunaglyph. See if that's going to freeze him. I'm done for. Yes! Haha! <laughs> That Lunar Glyph is amazing. It really is. OP to the max, yo. Poison be gone. Yeah, he's done. I don't remember him being easy. I don't know. I didn't think any of those guys were that easy. But I'm not complaining. Yeah, we didn't get a lot for killing him, though. So we've got a Cham, Red Sardis, and Flying Fish, which, yay, I guess. <laughs> we give up. You and your crew fought well. Your name was Vase, right? I don't think I've ever seen you in North Ocean before. This is the first time we've ever been to North Ocean. But now, we're riding aboard Captain Drachma's ship, the Little Jack. Drachma? Wait. Drachma, were you ever in North Ocean before? What if I was? Then it is you. I've heard all about you. You're the sailor that is chasing the Archwell Rachnam, if I remember correctly. It was to avenge your son, right? Enough! I don't know what stories you've been hearing, but I suggest you keep them to yourself. <laughs> and unless you want me to throw you overboard, you should get off my ship. Ah, that's quite all right. We'll be going now. And what are you staring at? Are you going to stand there all day? Get back up to the bridge before I throw you overboard. Oof, that was a bit of a sore spot. Yes, sir! Oofed. Huh. Rack, man. Ooh. Well, well, well. Ah, uh, at least that's a bounty done, I guess. 
uh, happy with that, I suppose. Well, we're going to have to leave it there, guys, because we are out of time again. That video flew by. At least it did for me, anyway. So, thanks for watching, guys. And when we come back, we're going to continue exploring North Ocean. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.